Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to talk about Microsoft List and specifically about the person column. So the person column uh, we can add through the add column. We can choose the person type and we could give it a name. And actually, uh, we can uh, define if we allow groups, if we want to show the profile and if we want to allow a uh, multi uh, entering. Um, so what I did was actually <coughs> I created uh, a list and I have the name of the person and I, I created also a column uh, his title, his department and uh, office. Now in the background it's actually existing from the classical settings. Uh, when you do it in, in a modern appearance you cannot set it. So let's just go to the gear icon and we will go to list settings. You see all of these columns are uh, people and person and group. But the difference is actually that once we create it, we can go here. And for instance, his title, if I go here, I can scroll down and I can choose, even though I enter the email or his name, I can choose to show additional information from the Active Directory. So in this case, uh, I chose to uh, show his uh, job title. Uh, in other cases, actually, I uh, this is I chose to show his department. See, and for instance, I could choose if it's all depending if it's maintained, also the office. So it's a bit hidden in the modern interface, it's not there. But you see here, I can scroll and uh, choose if it's an email, if it's a mobile phone or something like that. So actually, if we, we have um, the title, we have uh, uh, his name, his uh, title department. Now, if we go and uh, let's say create a new form, we actually will need to enter multiple times the same um, email. And that's uh, not that uh, nice. So what I did was actually, I said, well, in my use case, I need to enter the information of the person that has uh, created the form. So I created a, a small uh, flow. So I went to Power Automated. And uh, actually what I did was I used the trigger when an item is created. I chose the, the address and the list. And I chose actually to update the item. So again, I chose the, the URL and the list. The ID actually I got from this uh, dynamic content. The title also I just chose from there. And instead of, there's a property here actually that automatically gives, uh, if I go to create, I can find the create, uh, created by email. I can actually also put here created by department. But uh, as, as the email is enough, then I can uh, use that. So actually this could, could have been just a text, uh, text, text type and I would plant here uh, the value. So actually what the flow does, I just enter the f one of the columns and let's see how it works. So actually I'm going here and uh, I will do it with uh, another user, which is Alex. So Alex will just uh, enter the topic one. And all of the rest I can even hide. So I will just press save. Now um, the user doesn't need to know, but uh, after the flow runs, it will all of this information will be uh, there. So I will just go and check the flow. Let's see what's happening. 
I'll pause it for a second. Okay, I see the flow has been completed. I will uh, go to the list and I will refresh. And I see actually that because uh, Alex has created it, then it takes the data from the Active Directory. Also, when you hover uh, on the user, you get all of the information. Um, so you can actually see here, uh, he's in the marketing. This is his title. This is the department. This is his office. I could also add his mobile. So let's just uh, try again. Um, so this is actually a way where you can let the user um, just enter the information which is important and all of the rest will will be in the background. So uh, just in case we, we could even hide all of these. So I will remove these because uh, it doesn't matter. And even if I go to the form itself, I can go here to the drop down, edit columns. He doesn't need to see this or feel it. He'll just put his topic. So you see now, this is all he needs to enter. And if Alex uh, creates another one, topic two, then uh, actually everything will be. So this is, I'm not an expert in, in Power Automate, but this is the things I, I, I found. And uh, so it saves the user to enter each time all of the information because um, it has it and the Power Automate update. So if you like my uh, video, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.